In this video, we will walk you through a conversion to our new client server database platform. If you are upgrading from Timeslips 2016 and below to Timeslips 2017 and above, or Timeslips Premium, you will need to convert your existing data to work with the newer versions of Timeslips. If your Timeslips is networked, the first person to open Timeslips and perform the auto update will be the one initiating the conversion. That conversion will happen automatically. In this video, we will go through what this automatic process looks like as well as how to manually open and convert a database if you do not receive that automatic conversion prompt. We always recommend that conversions be completed on the file server if possible. This minimizes possible data corruption and general slowness when attempting to perform conversions across the network from a local workstation. However, if that is not possible, or you feel comfortable with the speed and integrity of your local network, then you may perform the conversion in this manner. After you have performed your local auto update of your workstation to the latest version of Timeslips Premium 2017 and above, you should be prompted to convert your data. We will open up Timeslips to see what this conversion prompt looks like. You are presented with a dialog that displays the current location of your Timeslips database. We will click the next button to proceed. Here, we have the option of converting this database for the entire network to use. You will give it a name and you have the option of inputting a comment. A comment is just a general comment or label that further describes this data set. I will name my database the same as it was before, TSData01, and comment this as 2016 Timeslips Data. Optionally, you can choose the option to convert your database for local use. If you choose this option, your data set needs to reside on your local hard drive to proceed and not in a network shared location like I currently have right now. Let's click Next to continue. Here, you must acknowledge that taxes will not automatically be updated and click Next. On this dialog, you are acknowledging that a backup must be made. This will make a backup of your data as it is right now. So if anything happens, you have two copies of your data to fall back on. The backup file that's created right now as well as the original data that is untouched after conversion, as we only read your data and place the converted data into a new location. When you are ready, click the Convert button to begin the conversion process. You will be presented with a dialog to save your backup file. I will choose the default Timeslips backup folder location, which is located under the Windows My Documents folder for the user. By default, Timeslips names the file Data Conversion with the current date and timestamp. For this video, we will leave it and click Save. The backup will begin, and when it's complete, the conversion will start. You will see a log of the conversion status and if it completes or fails. If there are any failures, please contact support for conversion failure error messages. Click OK on the Conversion Complete dialog, and timeslips will automatically open to your converted data. For this next part of the video, we will go through manually locating your data to convert in case you did not receive the automatic prompt to convert your data. This procedure may be helpful if you are on the server directly and want to convert your database. Let's open time slips, and at the main splash screen, let's choose Open Existing Database. There are two options, Open Network Database and Open Local Database. Let's choose Local Database, and then click the three-dot Browse button to navigate to our data. Once you locate your data, let's click OK. You are presented with a conversion dialog where you will go through the same questions that we covered previously in regards to database name, location, tax updates, and backup. Once you name your database and choose your options, click Convert. Back up your database and you have successfully converted your data to Timeslips 2017 and above or Timeslips Premium. If you have any additional questions, please refer to the link in the lower left-hand corner that says, Review more details information about data conversion. That concludes this video.